Jai Shri Krishna. In today's Subhashita, we will be discussing the importance of certain factors when trying to understand the prosperity of nations. In the light of the present situation that has shattered the world, the geopolitical situation between Russia and Ukraine, and uh, so many other geopolitical situations around the world which are undermining the prosperity of several nations, we have to understand that there are some core concepts that entail the values and the wealth, the prosperity of each and every country, the innate strength that these countries have and their power in the world order. It's very important to understand that there are just a few factors which decide the overall situation of a country and the prosperity of a country. It is not the country's economic markets. It is not only the country's um, political power. There are certain important factors which are supposed to be taken good care of in order to ensure a country's long-term prosperity and not only the governments, the people of these countries have an equal um, duty to protect these important aspects of their own countries. Um, there is a wonderful Zubhashita or an ancient Sanskrit verse of wisdom uh, which says Arogyam drihagatratvam andrinyam aghamochanam aparavashyam naishchintyam astikyam swarga evasaha that place is called heaven when it has good health first. So health is the most important um, attribute of a prosperous nation and an unhealthy nation from the medical perspective is not to be considered prosperous no matter how high its markets are flying and no matter how well the pockets of the people in that country um, are doing. So overall it's important to consider the health of a country first and then place wealth after health. Arogyam Dridhagatratvam, which means that the people should be well and fine in terms of their physical nature as well. Anranyam, that is without debts. These days, some of the so-called wealthiest nations in the world are also the most indebted nations. So debt is negative and debt is always destroying a country's prosperity uh, in the long term. In the short term, it might give a, uh, a short term boost to the country's economy, but in the long term, it is always detrimental and debt based economies are bound to fail. So our ancient Sanskrit wisdom clearly outlines this concept saying that Anrinyam, Anrinyam means the absence of debt, which is known as Rina in Sanskrit. Rina is some thing that is considered very serious in our ancient times and all the East uh, East Asian cultures of the ancient world were very careful about debt. Debt meant something negative to them and they used to clear debts as soon as possible and take debts only when extremely necessary for an economy or for a household. Right from the household level to the top of the state, people in the ancient world used to take utmost care of taking or receiving and handling debt. But today, it is a very sad situation to see that countries are taking large amounts of debt and using them to finance their needs and then calling themselves prosperous and wealthy. And any country that fails to take debts defaults and goes down the line in terms of the economic world order. So countries that refuse to take debt or are unable to take debt automatically fall down and countries that are debt worthy or say, uh, no, sorry, credit worthy automatically come on the top. So debt based economies are actually dangerous in the long run. And I'm sure they're going to start playing out in the near future, in the, in the far future. We'll see most of these debt based economies or heavily indebted economies going down the line unless they correct themselves, of course. So, Anrinyam is an important concept. And after this comes Aghamochanam, which is equally important. It means that the citizens of that country should be aware of right and wrong. They should be aware of right and wrong to such a degree that they should avoid doing um, anything that is wrong according to their conscience. And it is the same across religions. We all know what is right and wrong. We know non-violence is an important concept and violence is a wrong uh, to any being that has been created on earth as far as possible. Trying to avoid violence is important or avoidance of cheating. And so many different values are also perceived as wealth in the ancient world. Even values are very important. Innate human Human values of non-violence, um, uh, avoidance of cheating others and avoiding drinking, intoxication. These are all basic values. Our ancient uh, forefathers valued these systems very much. Uh, not to say that the ancient world was free of calamities and problems, but yes, there was adherence to basic principles of value in the ancient time, which we should embody in the present world as well. 
and this is timeless this is ageless so it applies to every single era in human uh, in 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 overall humanity and we must follow these important concepts so andranyam aghamochanam aparavashyam i think the most important thing today is aparavashyam aparavashyam means uh, not being sabotaged by another country or another person or another entity countries which are generally uh, facing uh, extreme poverty today or facing absence of growth are ones that have been invaded by other countries ones that have been laid waste by their enemies uh, and these countries no matter how many resources they have they most of the time they do not prosper enough they do suffer like for example our own country india has been invaded so many times despite our innate wealth of knowledge and so many different types of wealth our our uh, our uh, geo uh, our overall geological wealth our knowledge our wealth of knowledge despite all of this uh, the very fact that have been that we have we, we have been sabotaged by enemies over the last say 400 to 500 years or the last 1000 years uh, is one of the important reasons why we are unable to stay on the top of the world order it is this this main reason that we have been conquered or invaded by enemies who have employed um, very uh, very uh, you know despicable tactics to conquer our economy and our people so this is one of the reasons why india has not been able to prosper to that extent but one thing we have to be proud of is that despite all this onslaught we have been able to survive and our ancient civilization is continuing to shine and spread um spread our wisdom across the world that is an amazing thing and it's also the same for china which has been certainly uh, significantly resilient uh, as well um and uh, one important reason why it's been resilient uh, throughout these centuries is that it has not been uh, uh, invaded as much as some other countries that we have in the modern day and and even the tirukkural written by the great sage tiruvalluvar uh, emphasizes three important pillars of sustenance of the prosperity of any nation be it any time any era uh, it says urupasiyum ova pinayum serpagayum serad iyalvadu nadu which in english means the country that does not fall prey to mass famine epidemics or pandemics and does not fall prey to invaders or major invasions it's very difficult for many countries to not be affected by one of these three or all of these three over a long period of time but countries that are resilient to these attacks countries that are able to face the onslaught of these three different types of attacks uh, regularly they can prosper really well and there are many historical examples to these also in the sanskrit verse last but not least the most important portion uh, of the sanskrit verse says astikyam and astikyam means steadfast belief in god and belief in the presence of a superior power of a superior spiritual power who can help us at all times so that belief is very important and it helps us continue our lives it helps us be prosperous continually and be able to face any danger without losing our cool and without losing our uh, hope so one important thing is faith in god and i feel that's the most important of all the different concepts laid out in our scriptures faith in god um in a large portion of society is very important countries that do not adhere to faith in god they do ha- they do have an imminent collapse very very near for them thank you